we got another statue unboxing. Another Prime One Studio statue. The Joker. He's finally here. He's one of my favorite characters. It was about time we got one of these pieces. Let's bust into these shippers and see how they look. Got him out of the shipper. Look at this art box. As soon as we got it out, I was like, oh, this is going to be real creepy. This is going to be something for your nightmares. We got a nice and cool in here this time. We needed that because I'm sweating getting these, getting these statues out. They're too big. There's the front of that one. This is going to be the body, the head sculpt, the yada, yada, yada. And then this is going to be the base. Okay, this boy was a little bit heavier. Two boxes. There's the back. And the same kind of deal on the other side, okay? This is the regular, not the deluxe, not the EX. The EX has two additional portraits. This has two portraits in it, two swap outs. Let's start getting in these boys. So we got the Batman. Looks like he's chained. He, well, he's going to be chained. Came with these two chains that will wrap over his arms and then kind of wrap around um, the back of the piece. Again, this is from the Batman Damned um, kind of atmosphere. I, I don't. I, it's not specifically from Batman Damned, but it's Lee Bermejo who is the artist of Batman Damned. So, got to have Batman still in the statue here, and then coming around here over the top, he's kind of on a um, concrete type base. This is where Joker will key in right here. It's kind of an indention for his his boot, and then I believe the other. Uh, foot will be placed up on this pedestal Now back here. This is a difference. You'll see if you get the EX these will have three of these I believe this is the um, Additional head holder. So the head will go down into this if you get the EX there'll be three of these This has extremely nice weight to it and here's the bottom museum master line the Joker concept by Lee Bermejo prime one studio and it's got little grippies on the bottom and uh Ha 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 ha. <laughs> so that's there. That's very nice. That's actually much nicer than um, I thought it was going to be. Heavy base. This one was about 30 pounds. We're going to get it out of here and then get a closer look. All right, here it is. This is, this is kind of what it was all about right here. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. This is one of the creepiest things I've about ever seen. Glossy, glassy looking eyes, wet looking eyes, wet looking teeth, painted gums, and of course he's got those scars. Cool sculpted hair. Look at that hair. Uh-oh. That may just be that may like go that may go down on his um uh, his collar of his coat. Man, look at that hair. It's crazy. Again, there's four sculpts. <laughs> when he's even like sitting down, it looks even creepier. Four sculpts in the EX, two in the standard. Oh my God. Look at that. Same kind of sculpted hair in the back. I love this hair. Glossy looking eye. All this is intact. Looks good. Looks awesome. His face paint, like you can see the cracks and the indentions in his face. Prime One does blood so well. He's light. These head sculpts are lighter. Very nice. Then we got the body right here. We're gonna get him out and then talk about him. All right, so here's the bottom of the piece. We got number 224 out of 800. Got the Joker portrait and again, the Joker master line. I'm gonna set this piece down. There is something rattling around in here. I'm not sure what that is. You got the, I like this bottom. This is clean looking. I like that pedestal. You might notice this little red spot right here. I think that's where the chain is going to um, be magnetized and then wrap over the top. 
as well as on the other side, the exact same thing. On the side here, we've got some kind of face. What my mind initially goes to is that looks like RV Dent, but I don't think so. I'm not sure who that face is. Got another, we got the bat symbol on the back. I like that. It's not really something you're gonna be seeing. I mean, the piece is always gonna be turned to the front, at least for me it is. And then on the other side, you've got that same um, face sculpt. Very cool. All right, let's get the next box out. Wow, look at this. Look at this piece. So he's lighter, smaller character, lighter body. He just keys in in the back here, and then his foot, like I said, kind of rests up on this, uh, I mean, it's not really a pedestal, but it kind of is. His chain was wrapped up. He's got this silver um, kind of pimp chain he's got going right there, these pants. So I, when I first looked at this piece, I thought he was too dark looking. Like I thought um, this should all be purple, but I don't know. I kind of like the subtlety of the purple right there. Okay, so we got these chains. We've got to figure out how to exactly wrap these chains over. Prime One always comes with these uh, instructions kind of step by step. So the first one was to put, put the body on him. These are magnetized chains. They're kind of sticking to each other. Got the chains on there. Magnets are real strong, um, solid chains. Um, I kind of pushed them over a little bit towards the midline. That got them a little bit more tighter, a little bit more taut. Cool effect where it's kind of looks like it's restraining Batman. Um, next part up. Looks like we're putting hands on there. Kind of looks like he's got a strong hand. I'll take my strong hand, bad man. Kind of looks like he's he's kind of gimpy. Like I, I I don't know I'm I don't know how I feel about that one hand. I feel like he should be holding something there. I don't know. Okay, so we've got our additional head sculpt holder here, and like I was saying, um, that has a magnet on it, and then the head sculpt kind of sets in there like that, so it can be displayed which I love and I wish more of these pieces had this because I have these other head sculpts specifically for uh, Dark Knight, um, uh, Return of the Dark Knight, Master Race, Batman. I had those two additional head sculpts with the EX. I wish there were head scans like this. I love that. All right, let's put the head sculpt. This is the standard head sculpt, the kind of the main display one. Let's see how this looks. He looks so realistic. He's so real looking. How do they do that? In his pose, it's he's trying to he he's like aggressive, but he's like trying to hide something from you. He's looking, it's more of a downward type look a bit, but his head is turned, is kind of sloped down. And then um, again, he has that menacing look where his brow is darkened. And I don't know whether that's just our lighting in here but it just looks, he looks more menacing. That looks evil. That looks real evil. I don't know if I'd display him like that, but man, that looks cool. So the big question is, is this my Joker? Yes, this is Batman Damned, number one, two, and three. Batman Damned number one is, um, 
kind of a hotter book because of first appearance of the Bat member. So um, Batman um, Damned is, it involves a story about where the Joker is dead. Well, on one of our last panels here, and we'll kind of show it to you, is um, the Joker in a similar pose as this. Um, he's actually holding his head, but it's, it's that same look. It's that same jacket. It's that same undershirt. It's the same colors. Um, so my Joker, for me, my first Joker really is Heath Ledger. Now, obviously, I watched Batman animated series, and that's, you know, Mark Hamill, Joker, Batman, um, uh, Mask of the Phantasm. That's, of course, my Joker as well. But, like, live-action Joker, that's him. And I was torn because there has not been a good Heath Ledger um, statue. There is one coming from Prime 1. I think there's a half scale. And then Sideshow also is doing a Heath Ledger Joker statue that he's seated and it's in the interrogation scene in the prison. I kept looking at these pieces, kept looking at these, and I thought, you know what? This is this is not what I'm looking for. This is not what I'm wanting. I'm wanting something impressive for something that... So that's why it's taken me so long to get a Joker piece. And Joker's probably my favorite, if not one of my favorite things in comics, period. When I saw this, at first, I just glossed over it. I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it because it was so dark. It was so muted. Um, but the more I looked at this, this is the kind of evil Joker that I want. So it's adopting that Heath Ledger... Um, let me put a smile on that face type thing where he's got the cuts, he's got the uh, the smile going, but that is also in the comics from a Libra Mayo art story called just Joker, and that's from 2008. So, you know, is this my Joker? No. Is this the coolest Joker statue I've ever seen? Yes. Is that, is that to say that there's other Joker statues that are going to be better? There's a Joaquin Phoenix Prime One piece coming down the pipe that looks really impressive, but it's not as evil as this. This piece is evil looking. I love that. I love these Prime One pieces that are more adult, that are more just vicious looking, and this nails it. Um, he's smaller. But again, smaller character. I think placed up next to Batman, he's in that same scale. He's one-third scale. So next to Batman, he'll literally be perfect because he should be a smaller character than Batman. Guys, let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If any more in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.